We're back. Go to some more calls. Houston, Texas. Hello. Hi. Uh, my concern is with airline safety. I've been a flight attendant for 11 years with a major carrier, and I believe the FAA needs to take a closer look on how these planes are taking off every day. There's been numerous accounts where I've gone on an airplane and have been actually quite frightened to continue on with my uh, uh, trip. Frightened by things like what? Uh, just knowing the things that the mechanics are on board and checking out and they're hemming and hawing and I know they call downtown and check but there's been several times where there's been so many in stickers in that cockpit that it makes you wonder. Yeah, and we all see mechanics have walked up front, they're standing there with the pliers in the pocket, we know they're mechanics, they talk to the pilot, they go get a part, they come back, they sign something. Everybody thinks about it, Jim. This is a flight attendant who's thinking about it. We think about it. Everybody in the airline industry thinks about it at all times. That There is no event that anyone working in the airline industry dreads more or works harder to prevent than a fatal accident. Now, flight attendants have some burnout, too, don't they, sometimes? Where they need to stop for a while? Doesn't oh, that happen, happens to everybody. In the oh, place. absolutely. And what's good is that the FAA just has put in some flight and duty regulations to limit the time that uh, flight attendants like this person are uh, working. Dallas, Texas. Hello. Hello, Larry. I'm an airline pilot. I fly Boeing aircraft, and I've no doubt that they're the most safest and reliable in the sky. However, I have a question for you. Do you, you fly to 737? Uh, no, sir. I fly to 727. Okay. I have flown to 737. All right. Uh, I'm wondering when they, they think the FAA might finally give some serious consideration to a problem that's uh, plagued 73 and 72 aircraft for 20 years. It's uh, dozens of documented cases. You can check Aviation Week. And that is an uncommanded rudder input uh, ranging from mild to severe from either the autopilot or yaw damper, which can uh, pretty quickly cause an out-of-control situation like we've seen in Pittsburgh or in Colorado Springs. And uh, why haven't we seen more of it, Captain, do you yeah. think? Uh, well, the FAA has ascribed causes of crashes to pilot error. For example, the pilot in the LaGuardia crash claimed that he got an uncommanded rudder input uh, during the takeoff roll, which caused him to abort it. It was documented but given short shrift in the NTSB report, and it's a problem that I encountered in 1991 while cruising on an empty aircraft and survived. It's a scary situation. We disconnected the autopilot, took... Uh, very aggressive uh, command of the controls and righted the aircraft, but it is... Pilot, what, uh, what, what is your guess as to what might have happened here? A guess. Uh, the, it's any, I'm not an expert. It could be, uh, being a pilot, I know that it could be any of uh, thousands of things, but this is a problem that the Airline Pilot Association and the NTSB and Boeing are aware of that has not, I believe, been fully okay. explored in Jim, the number of crashes. What do you do when you hear something like this? Well, I, I think that, that if indeed there are uh, reports or theories uh, of that nature, I, it is obviously something that the NTSB, which I think is the finest safety investigative agency on the face of the earth, they, they will explore that totally. Well, when you hear something like that, David, does it bother you a little? He's talking sure. about Boeing aircraft for 20 years. Absolutely. I mean, uh, this is a bit of inside baseball in the sense that we've heard rumors of this uh, for a while. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong, in most of these circumstances, they were able to uh, bring the airplane back into control fairly well, quickly. And in this case, this flight crew could not bring it into control. So it leads us to believe that there was something much more catastrophic. We'll be back with our remaining moments right after this. There were some normal 